Hello friends, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome, my name is Christine. So today we have a bag review video. I actually thought I already did one of these a while ago, but I still get comments to this day asking about my Dior saddlebag. So after having it for over two years now, I think, I feel like I have a really thorough review. I also have since then picked up another one. So we're gonna do a little price breakdown, differences of the newer versions versus mine, how much it fits, what I think of the bag, is it worth it? So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in. The first thing I wanna talk about with this bag is the price difference. So I got this off the pre-love market, I think back in 2019. This is actually my first luxury bag that I ever bought. And I remember going to the Real Real. So excited to finally see it in person and I've just been obsessed with it ever since. It still to this day is one of my most worn bags. I always go back to it. I always get so many compliments on it as well. I think I got it back then for just under $3,000. I feel like it was around 28 or 2,900. Now the new version actually comes with a crossbody strap, which is really nice because this version is just a shoulder bag. I actually had to buy a separate canvas strap that retails for $1,000, which is insane. I think I got the strap brand new at a Dior boutique and it was like $1,200, which for the strap alone is just insane. It does add a really cool look to the bag and I actually now have three of them. So clearly I'm a big fan. The other two I did purchase in Europe. So I did save a little bit of money with the VAT refund, so I will go into that a little bit later. But it is nice, the newer bags come with a crossbody strap. It's the same kind of thin leather look, so it's nice and minimal. My sister actually has the white one, and she wears it as a crossbody all the time. But if you like the look of the canvas strap, I do think that the additional accessory that you can buy is really nice, and it comes in lots of different colors. There's new limited edition pieces as well. So I love it, but it is really nice that the new bags have a longer strap included. So on the website right now, the new Dior saddle actually retails for 4,200. In Europe, it retails for 3,600 euros and converted to US dollars, it's around $4,000. With the VAT refund, you do get 12% back. So you end up spending just around $3,500, which is a lot to save, especially if you buy a brand new one, $4,200 plus 10% tax. It's around $4,600. So you save over $1,000 if you buy it in Europe right now versus the US. So for me, whenever there's a bag that I want, I just wait until a big Europe trip. I'm actually going next week. So I have a couple of things that I want to pick up. It's always a good time to buy over there. Definitely take advantage of the VAT refund because you save so much money. I think it's a beautiful bag. It has a really unique shape. And of all the handbags in my collection, I think that this one stands out the most because it has that like oblique kind of oblong shape. And even though it is this type of shape, it does fit a lot because it is it's like a good size bag. It gets pretty deep in there and there is like two little creases as well. So if you like pack your bag strategically, you can actually fit a lot of stuff in here. So I quickly went through it and showed you all the items I have in my bag. Blotting sheets that I love, my standard like coin, purse, wallet, just a bunch of random knickknacks and kind of like must have items in my day-to-day -day life. But everything fits in here with a little bit of room to spare and I realistically don't ever put my phone in my purse, so I'm okay with it not fitting in here. But there is also a nice little back pocket. There is a little zip thing inside the bag as well if you wanna put any like room keys or important like pieces you wanna keep separate. The profile of the bag is stunning as well. I love that when you wear it, you can see the CD logo and it's funny because Brandon's 
mom asks me all the time about my D bag because she just doesn't really know, but I just think it's a beautiful bag. It really elevates a more basic looking outfit and with the additional strap, it kind of adds a different look to it as well. For me, I'm all about timeless classics, pieces that I will keep in my closet forever and eventually hand down to my children. I feel like this is one of those pieces that's unique but not boring. I feel like a lot of the shapes are kind of like minimal, more simplistic and subtle, which is great, but I think that something like the Dior style bag does add a lot to my outfit and I do think it's a great piece in my collection and that's why I reach for it so much. The leather on it is also kind of like the Safiano leather so it is really durable. I do not baby my bags at all. I'm pretty rough with it. I'll like set it on the floor for a while when I first got it I would set it on a chair next to me but sometimes it's just not available and as a shoulder bag you kind of have to get used to banging it around on different things anyways and this little logo is kind of swinging around as well so mine is pretty banged up and some of the hardware where it is pretty scuffed and scratched really bad. These top logos are pretty scuffed because this is where I clasp on my additional strap, which I unfortunately don't have with me, but I feel like that's something that just comes with wear. I have no problem like my pieces showing wear because if I wear it a lot, it's inevitable, but there's no stains on it, which is really nice. Not any like noticeable scratches, which is a big difference between like the Safiano versus the smooth leather. One thing I did want to say is as a shoulder bag, when I I wear it sometimes it does get annoying trying to get in it because it is such a like small area that you have to like reach in and pull your stuff so usually whenever I need to go into my bag I have to like take it off to better get inside it so that's just a minor thing to note but if you have a crossbody and it's dangling a little bit lower obviously it's easier to access your pieces but other than that it's super comfortable to wear I feel like it's a good size where even if I pack it with a lot of stuff it doesn't get super heavy or anything like that and I I think if your budget allows you and you're like, hey, I wanna spend three to $4,000 in a bag, I want something high-end and luxury, I think that this is a great addition to your closet. I have so many other designer bags in my collection now. I have Chanel, Goyard. I've been exploring, but I keep coming back to this bag and I love it. And like I mentioned, I actually picked up the logo version as well. And this one is a little bit different because it is canvas. So the material I feel like is not quite as stain resistant because I don't know, I feel like if I spill wine or matcha it's just gonna stain so useful to have a like bag restoration person or bag cleaner that can help with that or even like I don't even know if you would use like a Tide pen or something like that on this I don't know so I just got this it's a beautiful navy color and I like them both but if you were to get one obviously I think you should get like a simple leather color there's so many good browns on there as well my sister actually has the white one and I think that is a stunning color so eventually I'm gonna be like hey girly we need to swap bags for a couple weeks. Anyways, that brings me to the end of this review video. My neighbors are doing some construction, so it's getting pretty loud, but short and concise review. I hope you guys enjoyed. I do have a review video on my Palen bag. If you haven't seen it yet, I'll go ahead and link it up in the corner, but if there's any other review videos you want to see or comparisons, let me know, but I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll link my bag, straps, accessories, similar bags as well, if you're interested, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.